spot here. A lot of great speakers. Oh, speaker. oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Somebody left the clock. <laughs> I'm just going to say the story how I, I started off. I started off fighting Wells Fargo by myself. Yeah. Uh, you know, I went through some trials and tribulations with relationships. And, uh, uh, we got caught up in, uh, you know, this fiscal of trying to improve our life, trying to get, put our kids in college and things. And the bank came along and said, you know, lenders had the solution. It was the pick your paper. It was the three picks. And, you know, and it was like you can get into that and you can just stay a year in it and look at how much money you can save and you can send your kids to college. You can have money to put that, fix the house up, get another car, you know, all these little American things that everybody's looking for to have in America, you know, but not telling us that uh, under the layer of all that, that the market was starting to flutter with these bad loans, these pick your payments and others, trick loans that they con you in and say that you can afford and tell you that, that, and even go as far as fudging the numbers. And, you know, those people that were doing that was just in it for the hot minute, and they were representing the banks, and the banks knew that they were doing this, and the Wells Fargo especially, you know, just said, oh, well, gather the money, because each loan that they processed, they got 10 grand out of them. So you can imagine how much money they, how much wealth they walked away with, you know. So I was in this battle by myself until one night at 9 o'clock at night, this guy called Buck Baggett came knocking at my door at 9 o'clock at night. And I said, now, I've always been looking out the window looking for the eviction notice. Yeah. And I'm like, it's 9 o'clock at night. What is the sheriff doing working this way? And it was Buck. And he said, you were under the radar. We didn't even know about you. And you've been fighting Wells Fargo. And I heard it through a friend, a friend that I had that he knew that went to him and said, I have a friend that's in trouble. You know, and this is how I got started in Burnell Occupy. And since that relationship started, uh, you know, it has been a whirlwind because, you know, I was deeply in, in debt with the bank. And by fighting with Burnell Occupy and Ace and Noe Occupy, I uh, got a great deal from the bank. Yay! Yeah. <laughs>